um, Republicans have a problem with inflation, but what the fuck are they exactly doing to help with it and fight it? Um, fucking nothing, because they don't give a shit. As the current debate um, rages over inflation in America, it's worth noting that much of this conversation is based on backward-looking data, and that things are actually improving and not and not um, basically being destroyed as the, um, as the Republicans make it out to be. And while the news coming out today on inflation was stark, the good news is that we could see a steady decline for the rest of the year. A report from Blue Chip Economic Indicators in 2022 forecasts that the consumer price index will fall to about 3% by the, by the, by the fourth quarter of 2022 and 2.4 also by the fourth quarter by the fourth quarter of 2023. Also, another bit of good news from the report, wage growth outran inflation last month, and at least on average, that means that real average hourly earnings for all employees actually increased f during the month of November and December. Now, all things considered, this is, this is, um, this is looking like promising news, which one would think um, that Republicans would welcome given how, they t how often they talk about the goddamn issue. But while they have relentlessly politicized this issue, Republicans have done nothing to fight it. If anything, they created this mess themselves with the irresponsible COVID-19 inaction. Um, if Republicans are serious about fighting inflation, they would join Democrats in fighting the COVID-19 virus ending the economic instability that it caused. And if they really want to help Americans lower costs, they would work with Democrats to pass the Build Back Better Act. Now, pre the current President Joe Biden has responded to the frustrations of the American people, bigger, vigorously fighting to bring down the inflation. He released oil from the from the strategic petroleum reserve, and he had, and he has also worked to fix delays at the shipping ports, resulting uh, resulting in the, in the supply chain issues. Now, finally, he has taken steps to lower the cost of meat for consumers. Um, all of all of this was coupled with the policies in the Build Back Better Act, and once passed, it it would have driven down costs for all of Americans once it was passed. Um, these strategic actions have already resulted in the prices of everything from gas and groceries to fall a trend that is likely to continue up until next year. Um, as I've noted here in the, pa in, the, in the past, the economy is booming. In just 11 months, um, the current President Biden has created nearly 6 million jobs. People are buying their houses, wages are up, home values are up, personal debt is down, and perhaps most astonishingly, unemployment is back below the pre-pandemic level. All things are um, where we want them to be right now. No, they are not. But we must do more. But Republicans are not helping. If anything, they're making fucking things worse. And while Republicans love to talk, talk game about inflation, they have done nothing to fight it. They also have no plan to fix it, like they ever would have. Um, their economic policies have actually have actively contributed to the pain of working class Americans. Their stubborn, misguided refusal in 2020 to follow the basic COVID mitigation plans by health experts fueled the spread of this deadly virus. Their failure to fight COVID in, in 2020 created the inflation we are currently experiencing today. As Craig, um, as Craig Kirstner, um, who's the president of Destroyed Estate Planning and Wealth Advisors, recently told Forbes, for the past year and a half due to COVID, um, hardly anyone was spending money. Now that the economy is back open, people are spending and traveling, and as such, there was, an, there was a bottleneck with every high demand. Our system isn't set up for this high demand level, so that causes inflation for the short term. And to be clear... Inflation is, occur is occurring because our economy is growing at a, at a historical rate. The American people have money because the Biden administration has invested in them. Americans are spending money buying goods and driving demand way beyond supply. Are Republican, Republicans who complain about inflation arguing that we should be slowing the growth of our economy and that American consumers should stop buying things? And how does that fucking make any sense? The Republicans' abysmal failure to fight COVID brought us to this inflation challenge. It was Republicans who let the coronavirus rage out of control and they didn't follow basic protocols to fight the virus with all the tools at their disposal. Our economy was shut down because Republicans did not take science seriously, and it's particularly fucking outrageous in the fact that they still do not take the virus seriously at fucking all, as they've actively promoted not wearing masks and not getting vaccinated, and they are in part responsible for the pain and loss Americans continue to experience today. Now, remarkably, Republicans are still not taking the virus seriously, even in Florida, with Senator Marco Rubio recently calling people's reaction to the surge in Omicron cases Irrational hysteria, perhaps even more baffling, the Florida governor run to Satanus amidst a, t a testing shortage actually let an entire warehouse full of COVID-19 tests expire on purpose. Now, defeating COVID-19 is an economic imperative for all workers. Democrats have invested heavily in the American people, and they have fought tirelessly to ensure the American worker was supported during the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. Now, Biden and the Democrats are waging an all-out assault on the coronavirus to save lives, jobs, homes, and to ensure Americans were fed during this crisis. 
Democrats led efforts to get 200 million people vaccinated, and they got them back to work, opened up our economy, and continued to invest in the American people. Now these proactive actions taken, for, um, taken fortified our country against the effects of COVID and the inflation voters that we are currently experiencing. Now, sadly, Republicans do not care that they that when they actively stoke the fires of anti-vaccination and anti-mask wearing, they are hurting our economy and the people. Republicans still have an opportunity to help fight costs related to the inflation, but they have to join the Democrats and pass the Build Back Better Act. Now, recently, 15 Nobel, um, Nobel laureate eco um, economists released, it, released an open, open letter saying, because of this agenda, um, the, BB, the BBBA invests in a long-term economic capacity, and they will and they will enhance the ability of more Americans to participate to participate productively in the economy, and it, it and it will erase the long-term inflationary pressures. Now that's on top of a letter released last last year from 56 economists urging Congress to pass the Build Back Better Act and lower everyday costs for working families. These economists noted that these investments, along with tax cuts for the middle class, will erase the burden of inflation on, on, Amer on a lot of Americans and allow them to keep money in their pockets. It is unconstitutional, or it's actually, it, it, I'm sorry, it is unconscionable that Republicans continue to play politics with inflation, people's livelihoods, and their lives. But Republicans have an opportunity to help relieve the economic pain of all Americans by passing the Build Back Better Act, and they are choosing not to, um, because they don't want to help people if they don't have to. The next year you hear a Republican complain about inflation, take a moment and remember two things. The reason that we are in this fucking mess is because of their economic policies and their failure and, and the Republicans' failure to fight COVID-19 created the inertia that led to higher prices for consumers that we're facing now. So if you like the video, give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, RBW King, and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when the new video comes out. And thanks for listening.